So on this week's episode of The Engaging Marketeer, I, I want to talk about something that doesn't often get mentioned in, in, in marketing or particularly digital marketing, and that's when should you not do digital marketing? Because I, I had a conversation earlier on today with, with somebody at a, a networking meeting I was at about how we do digital marketing at Engage Web and how we help businesses, and do we do email marketing. He specifically asked me, do you do email marketing? And I had to go into the whole explanation of, yes, we do do email marketing. We offer that as as a service, as, as a lot of digital marketing agencies do. Uh, but w- what's important to, to think about is that it, it's not always right for you. It's not always right for the, the business in question or for the client in question. Because a lot of companies come to us and say, can you do Facebook ads or can you do Google ads or can you do email marketing in this instance? And as I say, a lot of agencies do this. It's, it's a very common common service that you'd expect people to, to, to offer. But just because it's something that you can do doesn't mean that you necessarily should. And the reason I mention that is because a lot of a lot of businesses try things like search engine optimization, SEO, the, the obvious one, or they try Google ads or they try Facebook ads because it's something that they've, they've read about. They've gone online and they've read a blog or they've had a conversation with somebody at a networking meeting or, or somebody has phoned them out of the blue and offered to do it as a service and not actually understood why they're doing it. And the reason you do any of these, the, the, these, these, these tactics is either to increase the number of sales that you're getting or to increase the number of leads and contacts on your database. Those are primarily the, the main two reasons that you do it. And if you don't get either of those two results with whatever marketing activity you, you choose to do, then it doesn't really matter how many impressions you've had, how many people see your your ads, how many people click on it, it's failed. It's failed. And I am seeing far too many people, far too many business owners, far too many website owners, and, and you may have heard this yourself, you may have said this yourself, this may have happened to you, saying that I tried Facebook ads or I tried Google ads or I tried email marketing or I, I tried Pinterest ads or I tried TikTok ads, whatever it may be, and it just didn't work. It just didn't work. I just didn't get any increase in business from it. I just didn't get any sales from it. I just didn't get the results from it. It didn't work. And the fault isn't necessarily with the ads themselves or the company that set the ads up or created the ads or the budget that you're using or the targeting that you're using. The fault almost almost all of the time I, I, I see with people who try this themselves and say it didn't work, is the fact that they are promoting a website that is, what's the polite way of saying this? Um, shit. It just doesn't work. That doesn't, doesn't work. They're, they're basically, they are trying to market something that is crap, that will not convert, that is absolutely homemade garbage. And they think that because they're running Facebook ads or Google ads or email marketing or whatever it may be, that's some kind of magic bullet that's going to make everything okay and going to make everything work for them. And it just isn't. Because if if your website doesn't convert, if it doesn't convert people into inquiries or inquiries into sales, then no amount of ad spend that you actually put into that is actually going to generate business for you. You're just going to spend a lot of money getting a lot of people to see a website that just doesn't work in the first place. So why waste your money investing in paid media when what you really need to be doing is sorting out the website so that it converts right from the get-go? And this may sound obvious. It may sound obvious but again, at a networking meeting today, I, I had a conversation with somebody, a very brief exchange um, about conversion rates on, on a website. It was very brief. It was maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And he said, oh, I couldn't afford your, your services. And I, I sort of joked, well, can you afford 
not to, really. And he went on to say very quickly that I don't get anything through my website right now. And I, I don't want one of your your websites, the £99 a month website, because you, you don't own that, do you? And it's like, well, no, our website package that we do is a lease website. No, you don't own it, but you do own the content, you do own the data, you do own the sales, you do own the leads. It's just the design that you don't own. If you were to move a website to another company, you're probably going to want them to redesign it anyway. So why would you invest in a website that you pay for up front when if you come to get a new website, you can't actually sell that. It has no resaleable value. What you, you, you have that isn't an asset, it's a liability. It doesn't actually have any value for you to sell again. So why pay all that money up front for a website when it's not going to work? And in the case of, of this guy and, and many others like him, why invest very little in a website that you own just for the sake of you owning it when it doesn't work anyway? You've, you've, you've paid peanuts in many instances, and certainly in this instance, for a website that doesn't convert. And if it's not converting, why have it? Why have a website that doesn't get you business? You can't then start plugging in Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever type of advertising you've got and expect that website to suddenly start generating you business because it's not. It's been built by somebody who's done it on the cheap because you wanted to do it on the cheap because you didn't want to invest a lot of money in it. And now suddenly you think, right, I need a magic bullet. Oh, Facebook ads, that's the solution. That's going to get me loads of business. No, it really, really isn't. And you cannot go out there and start running paid ads to a website that doesn't work in the first place. Doesn't work in the first place. I, I learned this message, and I say it, it sounds obvious, but it really isn't, because many people don't seem to understand it. I learned this back in, uh, when was it, 2000, I think I learned this, when I was at Game. The online marketing manager for Game, we were having a new website designed. This is while I was only doing the graphics for it, so I wasn't designing the website at this stage. I was the designer, but I was just doing the month, the, the weekly graphics to merchandise the website. They were having a new site designed to incorporate Game and Electronics Boutique together because Electronics Boutique had just bought the Irish brand Game. And he said, there's no point marketing this website yet until we've got it in a stage that it's going to work properly. You don't shout about something until it's ready to be shouted about. And I thought, that, that's very sensible because... If the website's got errors on and it's not converting, then yes, why would we be promoting it? Why would we be spending lots of money advertising it? Because it's not at that stage yet. And once it was at that stage, then Game spent the money advertising it. And, and boy, did that work. Don't get me wrong, that really worked. But, <clears throat> sorry, too many people today, too many people today don't spend the money on the website. They get the website done on the cheap, Maybe it's a, a friend or a, a relative or it, it's a Wix website or they've got somebody at a networking meeting that will do it for 250 quid because they want to they expand their portfolio or they've met somebody on social media, whatever it is, because they don't see it as something they should be invested in. And then they think, oh, do you know, Facebook ads, that's the answer. I'm going to pay to get people to this website or I'm going to pay Google to get people to this website or whatever it is they promote themselves on. And they are just throwing good money after bad. Throwing good money after bad. So, when should you not use? When should you not use digital marketing for your business? When your website doesn't convert in the first place. If your website is not getting you any business right now, and you have traffic going to it, and you, you really shouldn't be doing any sort of paid ads unless you can actually track the traffic. So please don't fall into that mistake. Please don't do that one. If you have a website right now that has traffic going to it and you can see the traffic going to it in Google Analytics and nobody is buying or nobody is inquiring, nobody is filling out your contact form, nobody's filling out your quote form, then sending paid traffic to it is not, not the answer. It is not going to save you. All you're going to do is make a very, very expensive mistake. You cheap out on the website, you get somebody amateurish to do it or you build it yourself you build it yourself because you think, well, anybody can do that. Or you get an IT company to do it because IT is computers, computers is web design, therefore it's the same thing. It isn't. Then throwing paid ads after it isn't going to work. So please, don't try to do paid ads. Don't approach a digital marketing agency saying, can you do paid ads for me? Because a lot of them are not as ethical as we are. A lot of them will say, yes, we can do that. And they'll take their money off you and they will start doing it for you. And you will not get the results and you will think that it doesn't work. 
when in reality it's your website that doesn't work not the paid ad media so that's that's all i wanted to put onto this this podcast today thank you very much for listening i i hope it's not been too doom and gloom for you i appreciate it. it's a bit of a dour one but if if you did enjoy it more than uh the, the frighteners that i put on you then uh please please give us a, subscri- a subscribe on whatever platform you happen to be listening on today give us a rating if you could i'd really appreciate that and i will catch you on the next podcast oh, oh, oh.